By now you have heard me talk a lot about business listings and why they're so important for your business. In this video, I'm going to show you what a Google Places listing looks like and why this is the most important thing that you absolutely need to do for your business. The first thing that I want to do is show you what a Google Places listing looks like. On this screen here, you'll see that I have searched for fast food. At the top of the page, there are seven listings here indicated by a red flag. These are what are known as local listings. At the bottom of the page here, you'll see that there are other listings. These are called organic listings. People's eyes are naturally drawn to these red flags at the top of the screen. So it's in your business's best interest to be listed as one of these local listings. Without a Google Places listing, however, you will never show up in this section. So it is absolutely important that you set up a Google Places listing. And with that being said, I will jump over now and show you exactly how to set up that local listing. The first thing that you want to do is open a new window in your browser and go to www.google.com slash business slash places for business. And then in the upper right hand corner, go ahead and click sign in. And here, go ahead and enter your Gmail address and password to log into your Gmail account. On this first page here, we're going to just enter in the most basic business information. Go ahead and type in your business name, address, city, state, zip, business phone number. Start typing in a category and then select the most appropriate one. And then if your business has service areas where you actually go to the customers at their location, go ahead and check this box and then fill in that information as well. Once you have finished filling in the information, go ahead and click Submit. The next step here is to verify that you are the owner of this business. So they're going to send you a postcard. And when you get that postcard, it's going to have a PIN number on there that you can then verify the business with. So go ahead and click Verify by Postcard. Google is then going to ask whether or not you want to put a contact name at the top of the postcard. Here I would caution using a fake name. Um, you want to make sure that this makes it into the hands of somebody that's not just going to toss this postcard into the garbage because it does take one to two weeks to receive this postcard and if you lose it then you're gonna to have to request another pin be sent and just trust me the sooner that you can get this verified the better so send this to somebody who's gonna hang on to it and put it into the right person's hands um, if it's not a real person's name I would maybe recommend just putting attention office manager or something generic where people are gonna take another look at it and realize that it's something important and it's not just junk mail so um, Go ahead and put that name on there and then maybe, you know, just a little tip here, maybe shoot that person an email and say, hey, I'm requesting a postcard. Can you look, be on the lookout for it in the next week or two? Thanks. Um, just something because like I said, you want to get this verified as soon as possible. So at this point, the postcard is being mailed to your business and you should be on the lookout for that in the next week or two. In the meantime, we're going to go back and edit a couple more pieces of information for your listing and try and flesh it out as much as possible. So go ahead over here and click listing. So as you scroll down here, you should see that the business name is already entered, the address is entered, contact information, they're only going to list your phone number here, but if you click edit, you'll find that you can then enter your website URL and your public facing email address. So what's the email address that people, customers, can use to get a hold of you? So go ahead and enter those in. And then also if you have a fax number or another cell phone number or just any other type of number, you can go ahead and click the add more contact information here. And here you can enter a phone number, mobile phone number, fax number, pager, chat, and another email address. So go ahead and fill this out, like I said, to the best of your ability. Any way that people can get a hold of you in terms of phone numbers and email and website goes in this section. When you're finished, go ahead and click Save. The next section is going to be your business hours. If you click Edit here, you can see that you can change it to weekdays or check whichever days are appropriate. And when you finish, go ahead and click Save. And then in the next section here, you can actually upload photographs for your business. So go ahead and click Edit. Click Select Photos from your computer and choose the images that you want to upload. 
And then when you're finished, click Save. And then the last section is the description, where you can simply copy and paste the description from your company information spreadsheet into this field, and then click Save. So now we've finished entering in all of your business information, and we are just waiting for that postcard to come in the mail. Next time you log into your Places account, you should see a dashboard that looks like this, and you can just click the Enter PIN, and then enter your PIN number that you received on the postcard.